Okay, tubers. I'm running into the same thing that uh, some of these other Dutch bucket hydroponic uh, gardeners have in these greenhouses. It's so hot in the greenhouses, you lose a lot of um, your nutrient solution due to evaporation, and uh, it's not good for the plants either, as they're uh, the nutrients are taken up is if it's, if it's boiling hot so what I'm going to do is I'm going to insulate put an insulated box around that I'm not going to dig it down into this hard clay like MHP did and a couple of others um, I'm just going to try and put an insulated box around it much like everything else this is uh, it's a first for me and, and it may not work but uh, that has never stopped me before so I'm gonna give it a shot I'll show you what my idea is in just a minute okay I'm over here in what has become my shop in the greenhouse as you can see there's a lot of sawdust on the ground I've cut a couple of pieces of basically paneling uh, so some of that stuff I got off of Craigslist that somebody used. It's real thin plywood is what it is. That's like maybe quarter inch plywood. It's really thin. But I'm, I'm framing it up with a couple of 2x4s and I'm using that uh, styrofoam sheeting that I got from I believe it's Home Depot. Um, I guess it's about three quarter inches. And I'm gluing it to the boards, and I'm going to frame up a box um, and build it around my tote. So let me get to that, and uh, we'll show you what it looks like when we got her finished. Okay, we got it framed up, uh, got it caulked, and I've cut the holes for the feed line and the return to come in I just have to sit the uh, blue tote in there fill it up and put the lid on the lids just a flat board with some some more um, styrofoam on it and maybe that'll work if it works here that one's next okay the system is on and by the way, vermiculite, no algae. Perlite, algae. I think I'm going to top them all off with vermiculite next time. The uh, brown is still there, but I'm getting ready to trim all that off because um, it has stopped. It's, it's, it's good to go with this uh, new mixture. All right, I've got this done. I didn't tell you, I did line the bottom as well uh, with the styrofoam. And there's the lid, it's just gonna lay on top of there, in fact. There she is. Let's see if, uh, if we lose any. I kinda measured it off where it was. In there, uh, it's 20. It's about 25 gallons, and uh, there's a little line inside the blue tote. I'll see how much I lose tomorrow. It was almost 100 today. It'll be the same tomorrow. Uh, see what what happens in the next couple days. Whether that's a successful idea or not. Um, these guys need it to be. Eventually, these, these will. It doesn't, for some crazy reason, it doesn't evaporate as, as quickly in that black container, which is a little odd. I may paint everything white, too, to reflect some of the heat. Uh, look at these cucumbers. I mean, that's higher than I can reach. are up there I've been pulling 
Oh, by the way, this is a real good system for squash. I've been pulling zucchini off of this uh, pretty regular. I think I'll exclusively go to hydroponics this uh, this fall. Dutch buckets for my squash and zucchini. God bless, folks. Go plant some dirt or whatever you have to play in that'll grow food. We'll see you next time.